Hey, this is the Dorn Signal Channel. Today what we're going to do is change the transmission in this 2012 Chevy Volt. Um, it has about 120,000 miles in it. It's probably the uh, transmission fluid should have been changed by now, but it hasn't. So one of the first things, I'm just going to go over some brief things here. Um, down here, the fill is you see, this isn't the best for video, but let's see if I can get in here a little bit better. So under here, there, okay, under here, there's a bolt right there uh, under the uh, air housing here. It's this one right here underneath like the high power lines here, or high voltage lines. It's right there. That is the fill cap, right up in that area. So you want to pull that off, um, probably prior to you getting underneath the car. Um, if it's dirty, I try to clean it off with a rag so nothing gets down in there and gums up the works. Uh, if you want to, um, if your engine isn't hot, like you didn't take it for a long drive, you probably could take this to the uh, car wash, and just hose it out real uh, quick. But if you had a long, long drive, I wouldn't recommend that because it might crack some of the aluminum. Um, mine doesn't seem too bad. I'll just wipe it off with a rag. And then, uh, since I got it up off the ground, uh, I'll have to get the creeper, but I'll show you where the uh, fill uh, or, or the uh, drain um, port and the uh, level port is. Since uh, these new cars, I don't know if they do it as a cost-saving measure or or they just feel that, you know, after you run the car, you know, 100 or so thousand miles, maybe a little bit more, the in, uh, the transmission just blows up and you buy a new car. Um, maybe that's their thought process, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, the uh, I know unscrewing the nut to see if the, the thing is full is not the best way I feel that the engineers could have had this um, you know could, couldn't you put in a 20 cents you know like sensor to show yeah it's full I mean sensors go bad but it's better than no sensor so all right I'm gonna get the creeper and I'll show you where the plug is underneath when I come back and we're back uh, so we're under the engine here and this is the driver's side so if you see this bolt right here that is the transmission uh, drain plug right there. Um, I can get a little bit better view there. Right there. That's next to the uh, drive axle up here. So that's right there. Um, let's see if I can get a little bit better light here. There we go. So that's the bolt. There's the drive line for your wheel. Now, the uh, fluid check to make sure the level is uh, uh, the right level in here is right here. Um, I personally think the best way to do this is get a clean pan, drain all this fluid out of here, uh, measure it to see how many quarts came out, and then put that back in, fill it with whatever came out of it. Um, I mean, you can pull this out. Uh, I've heard they're tapered. I haven't pulled them out yet. I heard they're tapered, so um, they are kind of thin uh, threads, so you got to be careful. That is the uh, the uh, top off fill there. So a little bit dribbles out of there. You know it's full. This is the drain plug. There's your muffler. Or, oh, wow. So um, that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. I didn't see anybody had other video on this, so um, I'm going to drain this out here. I'm going to get a pan, and uh, we'll see where it goes. So um, when I come back here, I'll unscrew this. I believe it's 11 millimeter, if that helps you. Uh, the one on top, I think, is 19. Um, it's probably a good idea to open the one up top before you open this. Uh, just so it doesn't create a vacuum or anything. Uh, might drain some more fluid, so um, we're going to try that next here. So, 
I, I had a hard time getting the uh, socket down in there, so I removed uh, part of the plastic uh, cover here for the engine. Um, <clears throat> it has these uh, torque spits here. Uh, let's see, let's see if I can see that. And this one is a T27 uh, to get these bolts out. And then I just lifted that to the side. I didn't uh, detach the uh, hoses or anything on the other side. So, eh, you can't see it real good, but I got the bolt loose down there. Um, I'm going to use my Ricci tool once I get it out of here. There's the uh, filler bolt. Alright, now I can get under the car and uh, finish that part. Alright, I'm going under the car here. I want to get this pin right underneath because I don't want this all over. It's a little dark. Not too bad though. For 120,000 miles, it's uh, it's uh, pretty clear. Yeah, it's. It doesn't smell burnt. Maybe ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. But it's not too bad. Once this is done draining, we'll take a look at it up from underneath the car, get a better look at it. Even though this isn't going to be uh, very scientific, here's the uh, the old stuff, and then uh, let's see if we can get some new stuff here too. Not too much, a little browning, but that's brand new. So we're just finishing up here. Uh, we've already put uh, a gallon in here, um, and it looks like we need to put about six quarts, so I need to put two more of these in here. Yeah, um, what you want to use is the uh, Dextron uh, 6, I think. It's the VI. Um, I put some uh, full synthetic in here. Uh, but uh, I just check on the internet, make sure. But that's what I use the, uh, the GM Dextron 6, I guess. Um, 
you know, since it's a Geon product. So, um, this is the stuff I use, but I, I'm pretty sure anything would work for you. Um, I bought this. They didn't give anything free for this video, so. Um, yeah, uh, but that's pretty much it. I'll just put the cap on here, and uh, then, uh, you know, we'll take it for a test drive.